Now compare this function against this function over here. As of now, it looks more or less of the same length, but just imagine if there were five subjects, you would have had five layers of if functions and not to tell you about the complexities of matching the closing brackets against each of these functions, it gets more cumbersome and very difficult to map to. There is high chance of getting errors as well. But this one is quite simple, clean and easy. What would happen here? The AND function will test this case and we know that this one is not true. So AND checks, is the first one true? Okay, and then checks the next one, is it true? No, false. So as a result, overall, the AND function returns the result as false. So this function gets substituted or replaced with false. Now, if false, then fail, and if true, then pass. So if function does not understand any of these conditions or comparisons, all it understands is what is mentioned over here. Is it true or false? And AND function just supplies that to the if function here. So this thing helps me prevent multiple layers of if functions and AND function just gives me that. Similarly, we have another function called OR function. Now OR function works slightly different. Well, if we were to say that it's okay, even if the student would have cleared in at least one subject, just mark him as pass for now and, you know, allow him to, or just promote him to the next level and allow him to re-attempt this exam and clear it. This generally happens at the university level wherein they allow the student to proceed further to the next semester or to the next class, but they need to come back to re-attempt this particular subject or the paper. So how does the OR function work? I say OR is 60 greater than or equal to 50, comma is 48 greater than or equal to 50. So the format of the AND function and OR function is exactly the same. There is no difference in the format. It's just that the function name is different and also the nature in which it calculates. So we see OR function returns true. Now what exactly happened here? Let me give you a quick quote over here. So AND function returns true only when all conditions are true. Let me fix that. True. Okay. Which means it returns false if there is at least one false condition. Right. So only and only when you have every condition returning as true, that is when AND function returns the res final result as true. But of all the set of functions or all the set of conditions that you are testing, even if there is at least one incorrect or a false attempt or a false condition, then overall the AND function returns the result as false. Well, on the other hand, the OR function does slightly different. It returns true when there is at least one true condition. And so it will return false only when all conditions are false. Now this is something which you need to remember very well. So it tests condition 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 20, 30, 40. OR function will check if there is at least one function or if there is at least one condition which returns as true, then the OR function will return the overall result as true. But if all the results are false, then the OR function also returns the result as false. Now that's exactly opposite with the AND function. It returns true only when all conditions are true and false if there is at least one false condition. Now similarly, there is also XOR function. Now this is one such function probably you might be using rarely, 
So it returns true when not all the conditions are true or false. And it returns false when all conditions are either true or false. Just as it says, it returns false only when all the conditions are returns the same result that is either true or false. But XOR or exclusive OR is it returns true when there is no consistency in results. Some might return as true, some might return as false. So when you do not see a consistent or a unanimous true or a false across, that is when XOR returns as true. Now this is something very rarely you might be using and generally in algorithmic approach or any algorithms that you want to prepare, it is during that time that you might come across the usage of this function. But most commonly for our convenience, what we can use would be the AND and the OR function. And how we can use it best, it's by, we can also embed this within the IF function and rather having than having multiple IF functions, we can just have it as a simple AND function. Now this is like certain scenarios or certain part of academics wherein they say you are deemed to be failed if you fail in at least one subject. Of all the subjects, if you fail in at least one, you are overall considered to be failed. That is when AND function works. But the OR function, in case of most universities, what they say is, even though you would have passed in one subject, you might be allowed to attempt or attend the next semester, provided that you reattempt the backlogs or the subjects which you did not clear earlier. So the OR function helps you just do that. Maybe out of 100 functions or 100 conditions that you are testing, 99 might be failed or false, but one is correct or true. That is when OR returns true. That means it will clear it off. So once again, a quick revisit and this is very critical because your flow with or your comfort level with working with Excel and advanced calculations would be, be very much dependent on how well you understand the usage of the AND, OR function, and also the IF function, and some more other logical operators. And more important, you need to understand that Excel returns the responses in the form of true or false. Well, there is a possibility that you might not see the result of true or false, just like in this case. In this function over here, you see the AND function returns true or false, but we do not see that because if it, it is within the IF function and all will get the result would be pass or fail. But Excel is doing this calculation or Excel is doing working on this and returns the result to the IF function and IF function processes it and then gives us final result. If you were to represent true or false in a binary format, then true represents one, false represents zero. 